Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a video on the Japan women's hockey team doing solid on the run in the Olympics before elimination. As I got to recap all the other teams, check out those videos in the women Olympic hockey. I recap some of the games and recap because I didn't have time with covering the ECHL and HL to do individual games at the time. Games consolidated in an overall analysis on how teams did throughout the tournament. So check out all those videos if you want to in the women's hockey um, playlist video. Or women's hockey uh, Olympics playlist, I should say. But when it comes to Japan, Japan beat Sweden, which is a very good win to start off with in their first win. Obviously, Sweden is a solid uh, hockey country. They uh, then beat Denmark who played a very solid overall tournament, 6-2. to So starting off with two great wins. Just fell to China in a competitive bout uh, at 2-1. to one. And then they also uh, just beat Czech Republic 3-2, to two, who was a very impressive team in their first games. And then fell to Finland, who is the third-ranked team. So obviously, the, yeah, the, the, you expect that to happen, in other words. So uh, that's okay. I would say with the way Japan played and the way they came in, uh, they have a B-plus for the way that they played in, in the tournament. I mean, you're able to beat Denmark. Uh, you're able to beat Sweden, who's a very good team. They did lose to China, um, and I thought that they um, could have won that game, so that knocks them down a little bit. But it was a very competitive game, uh, as I said. And then they beat the Czech Republic, so they definitely deserve a B plus. That's for sure. Um, even losing to China, that was a very competitive game. And then losing to uh, Finland, that's to be expected. They're the third ranked team. Japan's not there yet, but they're definitely moving in the right direction. They had hell of an Olympics. They had three wins in it, and then lost to two teams. That one in China that they could have found a way to beat, and then another team in Finland that they're not expected to beat whatsoever. So that would have been a major upset, even more so than the men's Slovakian team upsetting. Uh, the USA men's team. That would have been a bigger upset than that. But so, uh, in other words, uh, the Japanese team uh, th they played really good in this entire tournament, and um, they deserve the credit. They deserve to be praised for uh, continuing to move up. They're continuing to move in the right direction. Uh, they're continuing to do what they should be doing. They have three very good wins. Just fell to China. And then um, lost to Finland, as to be expected. So I definitely would give Japan a B+. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe down below. Or above, and the easy to do is widget to keep the channel going and growing.